What is up, Dallas Cowboys fans? Indy Tim here with your Dallas Cowboys Daily Blitz podcast on the DSP Media Podcast Network. Today's show brought to you by BetUS.com. More on them later, but we've got some OBJ breaking news, kind of breaking news. And from a Cowboys perspective, it's not the breaking news that we were hoping for that we wanted to hear yet. But uh, apparently Odell Beckham Jr., the soon-to-be medically cleared free agent uh, Super Bowl champion, uh, former giant brown ram uh will be medically cleared this week and allegedly has met with uh, at least by phone brandon bean the buffalo bills gm that was kind of reported by bills player von miller uh is that he has been campaigning we know for a long time for obj to come to buffalo and join him there as they were teammates with the rams in their super bowl season last year but uh We also know that he's been courted by other teams, the Cowboys. It appears most recently he was contacted by the Packers. Uh, Really any team that needs a a receiver at this point. And, uh, you know, certainly Dallas fits into that category after failing to land a receiver at the trade deadline. And uh, Jerry Jones and Stephen Jones both uh, have been vocal about OBJ coming to the Cowboys. I think all Cowboys fans are on board with it. I'm certainly on board with it. And there's been some delay, though, with OBJ really indicating where he wants to go or where he will go. And there may be more of a delay in anything happening as far as a signing of a contract. As NFL Network's Jane Slater reported on Twitter today that the reason there may be a delay is that OBJ is sort of waiting to see how the playoff picture pans out as we just barely at the halfway point of the season of course he's going to want to go to a contender he's going to want to go to someone that has a chance to win it all and it would appear the four teams that he has shown interest in so far would fit into that category with uh let's see i believe it was the rams the cowboys well maybe the rams don't really have a shot uh the cowboys the bills and i forget who the other team was it wasn't the packers um, I don't remember who it was. Apologies. But so he's at least met by phone with Brandon Bean, the GM of the Green Bay Packers. It was reported here on DSP Media that uh, there may have been contract negotiations already between Jerry Jones or Stephen Jones, Will McClay, and Odell Beckham Jr., and that maybe a signing was imminent. But uh, that, of course, has failed to transpire doesn't mean that it won't it just means that it hasn't happened yet and if the tweet from Jane Slater is anywhere remotely accurate then certainly that would be why it just seems like it would be weird for him to wait uh you know that far into the season I would you gonna wait another four games another month before you figure out where you want to play you're just kind of losing money at that point And by the way, it's been speculated here too on some of the shows on our network it may take a three-year deal to get OBJ that might be the the fact he's going to want something long term coming off of that knee surgery. Well, not long term, but longer longer than a one year deal. He doesn't want to be a rental player. And I was thinking, okay, give him two years, but it's been widely discussed. He might need three, and if I'm the Cowboys, I give it to him. Give it to him now. If you think you got a chance to win it all, and they appear to think that, uh, I'm okay sacrificing the next two years for a Cowboys Super Bowl in 2022. I'm sure all Cowboys fans would be happy with that. Dak's under contract. We've got a lot of guys under contract. This team could be good for a long time. So, you know, don't let the contract length get in the way of signing OBJ. I just don't think that would uh, that would be prudent at this point. The Cowboys have already admitted they need a receiver because they tried to get one at the trade deadline and just could not come away with one. Well, here's your chance, Jerry, Stephen, Will, to go get OBJ. He's a proven commodity. I was an anti-OBJ guy for a long time until he got to the Rams. He seemed to straighten his act up when he got with the Rams. It was not the locker room issue that he had been before in Cleveland and New York. He seems to have grown up a little because he's tasted a little bit of success. So by all means, let's go get OBJ. But the news today is that he at least spoke by phone to Brandon Bean, the GM of the uh, Bills And that conversation did take place. So really the ball's in Odell Beckham Jr.'s court. He really can go. He'll have his pick of the litter. Uh, Hopefully we will find out something sooner than later. Micah Parsons, of course, has reached out to him 
and big public on uh, social media. Former Cowboy and Hall of Famer Michael Irvin has come out vocally and said that OBJ will come to Dallas. Don't know if he's got some inside information that uh, none of the rest of us have. Maybe, maybe. Those guys certainly talk. Um, so that's what's happening today. We'll get more into it as uh, um, you know he speaks to other teams and as, as things come out. We'll certainly keep you apprised here on the DSP Media Podcast Network and the Dallas Cowboys Daily Blitz. Today's episode brought to you by BetUS.com. Join today using our promo code DSP125 for 125% bonus on your cash deposit. If you'd like to bet with crypto, DSP200 and get a 200% bonus on your crypto deposit. Bet horses, pop culture, casinos, and more at BetUS.com. You bet, you win, you get paid. I'm Eddie Car Tim, and we'll do it again maybe tomorrow. Until then, boys and girls, go Cowboys! And we'll see you.